All right, in this video, we're going to show you the updated way to export video out of Media Central. Uh, if this is for MMJs, if you're in the field and you need to grab video from the system, uh, this is how you do it. So the first thing you're going to do, this is very similar to the previous way, it's just how you're exporting is a little different. Let's start off by turning on the preview monitor. Let's go to OKC PME. We're going to go to Projects, News, and let's go to Tuesday. And I have some video that I had put in earlier, uh, drone video for Barry. And so all I'm going to do is start off, we go up here, we're going to turn on the, the timeline. And we're going to create a sequence. Leave it as sequence here. You want to make sure, drop down arrow, drop down arrow, incoming media, feeds. We're going to name the sequence, uh, drone video export. It's really just the name of the sequence in the system. We're going to hit create. And then you'll see we've created a sequence here. And then I'm going to go in here to this raw video of the drone. And let's say I'll put an endpoint there. Mark the out point. Down here, use the red arrow to lay it down. Go to the next piece of footage I need. Let's say I need this scroll. Lay that down, and let's say I want this shot. So you guys pretty much know, you should know how to get, edit your video. Um, now you have the option of, of audio one, audio two, so you don't have to, it's not mixed down anymore. Uh, if you want sound bites, you can grab just that channel. But essentially you grab the video you need. So here I have a sequence of video that I want to export and I want to grab in the field. And so to do that, what I do is I click up here. Well, first you got to save it. So we're going to save the sequence. And then up here, I'll click on it. And you notice when I clicked in here, where I'm at, this highlighted, it's called quick send. So to export this, you hit the quick send button, send to playback. And you're going to select the profile for export and you're going to give it a video ID. So the video ID is what it's going to be called in the folder when you go to grab it and drag it in in the field. So you, you want to label it something you're going to recognize. Also, no spaces. This won't work if you have spaces. So I'm just going to call it uh, drone underscore video underscore four underscore MEJ. So I have my video ID name with no spaces for export, I'm going to hit send. I'm going to go up here to process and I'm going to go to the newest and you'll see it's processing drone video export and it's processing right here. I'm going to wait for that to hit 100% and then it's going to take a few seconds but it's eventually it's eventually going to show up in my export bin. So we'll wait for this to hit 100%. And now it's hit 100%. So that doesn't mean it's necessarily there yet. It has processed the video, but it still has to convert it to MP4 before you can grab it in the field. And so we will go to, once you're logged into your VPN, you will go to the export drive. And when it's con finished converting, it's going to show up right here. This is going to take a few seconds, but eventually this is going to show up. So we're just going to sit here and wait while it converts. And of course, the longer your clip, the longer the video you export, the longer it's going to take. We had a fairly short video. Uh, looks like I had about a minute, minutes worth of video. So it's probably going to take about two minutes to show up here. But it will eventually.
And so now you can see drone video for MEJ popped up. If I click on it, there's my MP4 video. You can grab that video and you can drag that into Avid Media Composer and edit in the field. So that is how you export video out of Media Central for use in the field.